Hello, well, my name is Eduardo, and today I have here a very nice tutorial for App Inventor. Okay, so how to make this very cool effect in a button, okay, a rebound button effect. So let's start. The first thing that we need to do is to prepare our project. Okay, so we are going to start with the layout. Okay, we will add um, an horizontal layout. Okay, so I'm just using here, uh, giving it a size, okay, it is not very important, but we need this uh, layout to to control the button, okay, so in this case, so the button, is, it won't move any other of the objects around uh, it, okay, well, so we add the button, and then we continue with the next things, okay, so I'm just writing something in, in the button, okay, but it, it is not important. And then, um, well, just labeling these things, okay, renaming, okay, just to keep uh, the things easy. Then we will go for sensors and we will use two clocks okay basically the two clocks uh, are going to control when the button uh, grows and gets smaller or shrinks okay so basically we will use them and we will set them in, in 49 the interval the time interval it will be uh, 49 41 I'm sorry okay yes this is for two and you disable both uh, buttons and well that's all to start okay first we will start with some uh, variables okay so we will need the spring okay that is this thing okay that it will help to make the rebound effect okay then we call another one inertia okay so with these two variables we will control how this uh, the bouncing effect okay so when then we use uh, another one that is the X scale and the Y scale basically X scale it, it will uh, refer to the width and the Y the Y scale to the height okay then we add the screen initialize okay so some things that we will use okay so for the button, okay, we will use here just the initial values, okay. So in this case, I'm just setting that 200 and 200 for the button, so I want it square, okay. So this is, uh, this value is like the maximum, okay, the maximum size that my button will have during the animation, okay. Then I will set also for the button when we touch down okay so in this case when I press the button okay and keep my finger there or hold uh, holding it uh, I want it okay to enable okay, clock 1 and disable clock 2 and as I mentioned clock 1 it will make this thing like uh, uh, smaller and clock 2 it will make things bigger so while well, you have touched down, like in American football, and then we have the touch up. Okay, so it is basically the opposite for the clocks, okay, and also for the values, okay. So we will change a little thing here. Okay, then we we start setting the first clock okay so again I use some start value that is 200 that is the start value when the animation starts when we enable this so and then we modify the X scale okay so pay attention to this formula that is based on the one of the springs formulas that I found on the internet uh, and it's uh, and it's not very complicated but well you know when you are like using app inventor it sometimes this kind of formulas looks like very big okay. so 
so well so here the initial value that is the 100 okay that thing it is like telling you the value that you want uh, to get okay so I will do. so 100 it is the value I want my button to be okay so when I press it it okay, uh, remember uh, at the beginning the button is 200 when you press it that you touch down okay so the button it will try to reach the 100 okay so obviously with this kind of uh, cool bouncing effect okay so you can change this if you want your button smaller okay to, to reach a smaller size well you just set it like 50 for example okay and then we go here we continue with the formula okay so we use the spring and also then here we will use the x scale again and the inertia value okay i remember when i was trying to do this thing for the first time it was really really hard okay it was like a lot of uh, errors I got a lot of errors and sometimes App Inventor is quite slow but uh, with this animation works really good and then for this okay just to simplify things we copy the same okay and we will do the same for the Y scale and you just change the value remember the Y scale it will affect the height okay so everything almost the same just changing to y scale and to height okay and then we will increase these values okay so when the interval is so again for example for the width okay so the x scale plus again the width of the bottom, the current width of the bottom. Okay, that will uh, that it will be increasing accordingly to the time interval. And then we do the same for the height. Okay, so we just change the values. Okay, very simple. And we are almost like finishing this thing. It's not very complicated. So, and again, to simplify things, I copy the same uh, duplicate this uh, clock okay and then you change it to clock 2 and remember in this clock 2 okay that is the touch up it will be the opposite okay so now we set the value the initial value that 100 that is the one that when you got when you like uh, touch down this okay so and this first value that is 200 it will be like the maximum value that, can, that we want uh, our button to reach okay when the animation goes so you can make it like bigger or not okay so just be careful because sometimes uh, buttons uh, get really 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 big okay so you just check that everything looks okay that it's quite the same okay and I guess remember as I told you here if you want it bigger okay so from 100 to 200 or you can have it from 100 to just maybe to 120 to make just a very slight uh, change okay so and this is what we can have now okay if you check your button when you press it you can have that okay so if you want to you can uh, modify the things okay so just let's try to make it more uh, complete this just to check it more okay so now let's add two sliders okay one for the spring and one for the inertia and I and I added a, a clock uh, another clock just to to show the updated values but it's not necessary you can use it also with the sliders okay but well I just did it that way okay so also two labels okay to show the values okay when you move them so you have your sliders uh, don't forget uh, this clock it will be like normal okay 
the sliders just remember the values okay so I recommend that the maximum value for both sliders to set it like one okay so it's very important to set the these things okay so for the spring uh, and for the inertia so uh, watch out this you put your inertia in one okay the the button will be like bouncing okay forever and ever so it won't stop okay so just keep the values close to one okay so or uh, smaller okay so but don't forget okay so for the sliders please set the values okay in that okay and then we have this okay so I just made a mistake because I didn't uh, give the bigger size to these uh, sliders okay but but if you modify the sliders okay so you can get that uh, different uh, effects okay for example in the spring if you set the spring okay with a very 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 small value so it will be like very small uh, very very slow effect you will get that okay and if you do it with inertia as I told you it's just to the bouncing effect okay so if you set a spring in a high value well you have it like a, a very fast very fast effect okay so and I guess this uh, I guess that's all okay I hope you enjoyed this tutorial okay my name was Eduardo okay and see you next time thank you